So as parents, sometimes we can get so uptight wanting our kids to be perfect that it becomes difficult to see that they already are. And still, we're human beings, and so we get uptight, and hopefully this will help. So, taking full responsibility for your own well-being. And I'm going to say kids. If you only have one kid, you can say that. As with any of my videos, you can change words if something feels more appropriate. So. Even though I want my kids to be perfect, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I want my kids to be perfect, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I want my kids to be perfect, I want them to do perfect in school, I want them to be top athletes. I want them to always remember to say please and thank you. Even though I want my kids to be perfect, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And my kids and my parents and anyone else that might be involved in this. I want my kids to be perfect. I want my kids to be perfect. Is that so much to ask? And sometimes they don't seem to be perfect. And sometimes that upsets me. And I don't like getting upset. I'm clearing any upset. I want my kids to be perfect. I want them to get A's on every test. I want them to score in every athletic tournament. I want strangers to compliment me on what wonderful kids I have. I want them to clean their room without being asked. I'm not asking for much. I just want them to be perfect. And part of me knows they already are. And part of me gets confused sometimes. And sometimes I even get upset. And since I know that no one is perfect, Why do I get so upset? Maybe it's because I love them so much and I want so much for them. I want them to have the best life possible. And when they're not doing things perfectly, Maybe I'm afraid for their future. Maybe I'm afraid that if they're not doing things perfectly, they won't have as good a life as they could. And maybe that scares me. Or maybe I get upset because I blame myself. If my kids aren't perfect, then who's to blame? So maybe I want them to be perfect so that I look good. 
and I choose to clear that. I choose to love myself even if I'm not a perfect parent. And I choose to love my kids exactly as they are. And I choose to feel peace. Because the more I feel peace and love, the better I can teach that to them. And being peaceful and loving is more important than any grade on any test, more important than any score in any game, more important than their chores getting done. choose to teach them peace and love. And that's got to start with me. And if my peace and love is dependent upon them being perfect, we're all in trouble. They are perfect. just the way they are and getting better all the time just like me and the most important thing I can do is love them and that doesn't mean that I can never discipline them, that I can never show them a better way to do things. That doesn't mean I just say okay to whatever they do or say. I'm here to teach them and guide them. and I choose to do so with love. I choose to guide them with love. So I'm clearing out my upset about their behavior. I'm clearing this need for them to appear perfect. Clearing it out at a cellular level. clearing it out all the way back through my past, clearing the old expectations that were put on me by my parents, clearing those at a cellular level, allowing myself to heal the past, so that I can feel peace and love in the present. And then I can share that with my kids. And I can see their perfection. Seeing them with love. Guiding them with love. teaching them with love. Doing the best I can. Helping them do the best they can. And loving them completely in the process. I'm allowing myself to see my kids' perfection. And I'm loving them and myself in 
body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. And, uh, you know, <laughs> lather, repeat, and lather, rinse, repeat as necessary. You know, and maybe sometimes you just need to go, they're driving me crazy, they're driving me crazy, and tap through it. <laughs> Get back to that place of peace and love, because it'll do far more good. We don't want to teach our kids with fear. Don't be a terrorist in your own house. So, all right. Thanks for spreading love. <laughs>